Hello, and welcome back to Modding with Iron Fist. Today, we will show you how to modify the game source code itself. We will demonstrate using the example of the Strike Return ability, which the Harpies have in the later games. If a creature with the Strike Return ability moves and attacks, it will afterwards return to its original tile. Here's an outline. First, we find the method in the original game to modify, namely the method which does a move and attack. Second, we are going to write a new version of this method. Here, that new version will add some logic so that creatures with the strike and return ability will move back to the original square after the attack. Finally, we will flip a switch, so to say, so that the game will call our new method instead of the original one. Okay, we're going to skip ahead a bit and go straight to writing the new version of this method. All the files you need for this in our repository. In the de description for this video, there should be a link to some helpful tutorials explaining how to get set up for coding and how to download the repository. And without further ado, we begin writing this method. From doing part one, we will learn that the method we need to replace is a method of the army class called move attack with two int parameters. We will also make it so that the original version of this method is available under the name move attack or rig. Okay, let's go write this. The first argument is the hex that we're going to attack, and the second, I don't know what the second one does, but I don't need to, because the first thing we're going to do is make sure we call the original version of this method, which does the attack, so that everything that happened before still happens, and we just pass that argument right along. Now let's add our new logic. First, we'll need to store the hex where we started. Alright, cool. Now, after we do the attack, after we do the attack, if the creature has the strike and return ability, creature has attribute, Then we simply move back to the original hex. All right, let's test this. Now, while this is compiling, you might wonder what is this creature? Whoop, syntax error. You might wonder what is this creature has attributes method? Well, I basically just already set up a hash table saying which creatures have which attributes and just defined a label for a key representing the strike and return ability. That's just normal programming. Now let's see this in action. I've already set up a test map that has harpies in it, so we can try this. Alright, we load the map, go attack that harpy guy, there is the strike, and whoops, we have a bug. 
So as you can see, we forgot to check whether or not the harpy was dead before giving the order to fly back. So, let's go fix that. Unfortunately, the original game's attribute system is a bit less rest friendly. We're going to need to check whether the dead bit is on. Alright, let us try that again. Reload the game. Reload the map. Attack him again. Strike and dies. There is the strike and return. All right, we now have a working strike and return ability. So let's go back and fill in the holes. How did I know that method was called move attack? And how do I make the game call our version instead of the original one? In the repository, there is a decompilation of the original game, which I'll have right here. Let's search through it for methods with the word attack in them. When we get a bunch of candidates, and we can look at their names and look at the source code, and we'll figure out that the one we want is this move attack method. Uh, Now, for the next step, we will want what's called the mangled name of this method. We'll take a, pick, a peek at this file, which contains a special disassembly of the original game, and find move attack within it. As we can see here, the mangled name is question mark move attack at but we can go to this friendly website called C++ Filt JS, and it will tell us that that mangled name corresponds to the declaration of Void Army Move Attack with public visibility and the, the default this call calling convention. Now, to flip the switch, we will enter this Heroes 2 imports file which is like a C header file and just contains a bunch of flags. We set some of these flags to on. Then it will tell the game to bring in the version that we wrote in C++ instead of the version in the original game. So we just set the import move attack flag on. And when we do that, it will also create a, another version of the move attack function with this name move attack blah blah underscore clone, which we'll just rename to move attack a rig. And that's that. You've now seen the full story of how we added the strike and return ability to the game. But one quick disclosure. There actually is no move to method. Instead, the original move attack method does some logic where it either does a fly to or a walk to appropriately. And I've just refactored that out into its own method, but that's just a detail. As you've seen, once you've found the part of the game to modify and flip the switch, this is just like normal programming, and now you know how to modify any part of the game you want to. Go out there and build some awesome stuff. Thanks for watching.